Hi everybody, my name is Paul Duffy from Advanced Electronics. Uh, just a quick video just to give you a, a product demonstration of our, our new Go single loop control panel. This is effectively our non-networkable solution. Uh, single loop control panel which is for use with uh, Apollo, Hachiki and Argus Vega protocol. Uh, so just going to give you a breakdown from receiving the product in the box to fitting it on a, on a wall um, and just identify some unique features with this product. You'll be familiar with the packaging if you've used our MX Pro 5 control panel. We've got the, the typical shoebox design. Uh, you will identify the, the label on the on the side so you can see it says Go One Plus. This is a typical product which is our, our new single loop panel which is up to uh, 126 or 240 device limitation depending on your protocol. But you can see you've got the Go One or the Go One Plus that identifies your, your product. The Go One is restricted to 50 devices. The Go One Plus is the, the full loop su support. So what we do is obviously we, we open the, the box. You can see we, we cut through the, the tape, shoe box design. And you can see what we've done is we've replaced the plastic packaging, which um, is part of our environmentally friendly um, project that we've got going. Uh, so we can see the we've got now the, the paper packaging. And what you, you'll identify is when you open up the, the product, you have a, a single page installation sheet. And once I unpack the, the product, you lift the, the panel out. And then what we have is the actual Go One control panel. So you, for those guys who've seen our MX Pro 5 series should be familiar. It's the same menu structure. We've just got a, a new look and feel. So let's just analyze the, the enclosure. So if we look at the, the box, um, you can notice most notable feature is obviously the, the unique locking mechanism. We've got a slide in label and you can see the, the cable entry. Okay, so the cable entry, obviously what you will notice um, from there's no rear entry on the, on the back box. Um, but like our MX Pro 5 series, you've got the, the picture frame, the hanging technique. So you've got three mounting positions. So if I open, okay, you've got your cross head, open the panel door, and what you can see is you can identify your components. So obviously you get a, a spares bag for you. You've got your prefix battery cables, which you can see. Um, you've got your your door, you've got your earth cable, so it's quite easy to disassemble. Uh, we've got some cool little little features, so obviously the, the, the door being easily to, to remove. We've got some hang screws in here, so we can take the screws out. You can see the, the chassis obviously can quite easily be removed, so we'll always be wary. Um, when installing um, any electronic product, um, Remove the, remove the electronics, it's a common board solution. So we've got a power supply, relays, the, the main circuitry, the, the main processor on here. It's all on one, one common board. Just, just be wary of um, drilling the back box. We do have some knockouts. Um, what you see from the knockouts, um, you can see these, these little studs here. Uh, obviously, screwdriver on and obviously tap it. That will tap the, the knockout. Uh, Please try and uh, prevent from uh, from drilling the box. Uh, so you've got the you can see the main supply. You can see your earth studs. You can see your, your knockouts. Pretty straightforward. Some nice little features, as I say. Stand the, the panel up. Um, when the panel's hanging on the wall, you'll notice this cool little feature for actually allowing those guys with the, the big hands to get in, get the cable entries. You can allow your chassis to hang as you fix your your cables in place. Um, so you can see from the the chassis arrangement. Uh, product drops on. Um, some of the distinguishable features from our, our current MX Pro 5 series, obviously the terminal blocks are fixed on board. Pretty straightforward. What you will see for the future is our USB port and the Ethernet on board. So watch this space for the, the Ethernet activity that's, that's coming soon. Um, other features, you've got obviously a, a slide in label so we can obviously pull that out. We can rebrand anything quite easily. Start from batteries feature straight on the front of the control panel. So when you do have those problematic sites and you don't have main supply, simply plug in your batteries, start from batteries. This whole product is designed to, to give you a fast and quick installation. So you can get the panel on the wall, get products learned um, and configured on the system very, very easily.
Okay. What we'll do now, uh, we'll connect it to, put it onto the wall, connect a few devices, and we'll see how the, the product works. Okay, so I've got my uh, control panel on the on the wall. Um, you, can, you can see, obviously we've got the, uh, the, the lock, just spin it out. You can see obviously the retaining lock, kind of drop the, the thread. Um, just a basic overview of the of the system. So we have our, our Ethernet on board, um, RJ45. We have our USB, or B-type USB cable. This is the port we use for our upload and, and download, which you'll see a bit later on. Um, you, you designated loop, okay, and then we have a dedicated switch input, three onboard relays, and your two sounder circuits, sounder circuit A and B. So from the MX Pro 5, you have got an additional relay on board. So you've got relay one, which is your common fault relay, relay two is your fire relay, and all relays are obviously programmable. A, a reboot option, for obviously for a, a hardware reboot, we have a run in a programming mode for your software updates, your firmware updates for the control panel, as well as our, our memory lock jumper switch. So pretty, pretty straightforward. Um, one of the unique features of the, the product, you see we have this start from batteries. So this whole enclosure, the box, as you can see, it's designed to be surface mounted. Um, it can house up to um, two 12 volt 7 ampere hour batteries will be the power sonic or the UASA type. Okay, uh, so we can we can get the, the system up and running. So basically, um, start from batteries, press your button. Yeah, so your panel will boot up. Obviously, when you, the system's running on your, your battery backup, you'll see your green power light will flash, and obviously, you will get a, a fault condition. So, happy with that. You can see the, the door can be taken off, it's just held on. Pretty, pretty uniquely, so quick and easy to remove, easy to install. Drop that back in. So you can see, obviously, we've got a supply fault. You've got the, the, the green power light flashing. You can see one zone in fault, main supply. So I'm just going to initiate the, um, the, the main supply into the, into the control panel. So I've just actually switched on the, on the mains. Uh, you can see the, the green power light has went to, to normal and obviously uh, the, the fault LEDs went out. So we'll just go through the, the menu structure. So we'll press the menu button, uh, same as the MX Pro 5 series. Uh, we go to loops as an example. Uh, you see it pretty, pretty fast. So just auto learn. You can see it scan the loop up to 126 devices. Okay, it's found two devices. These are just a couple of sample devices which I've got configured on the system. Um, same same menu structures MX Pro 5, exit, same passcode 7654. Okay, back to level 2 menu. See it's normal operation. Just do a quick fire test. Okay, triggering a break glass unit so you can see uh, the response from the from the control panel. So you can see zone 1, fella AD, manual core point. What I'm going to do now is obviously what we'll do is we'll connect the, the PC. So if I reset the system. So open up the, the control panel. Okay, and I'm going to plug in my PC and transfer the, the data down um, from the control panel down to the PC. You'll notice from your metal hook, there's a little indent there. Well, that little indent is obviously for your, your USB port. So we're going to plug our USB port in, see that slot straight in, you can see the, the LEDs active, it's ready to communicate. And now what we're going to do is transfer the data down to the PC. 